钱，你得回来。我觉得你做这工作挣不了钱，你还得重新 take education， 重新选一个 major。I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't wanna be like you. If you wanna take it back to the fifties, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You know that's true. Have you thought it through? Uh, 'Cause you love to tell me what to do. Say no. All right. So last time I told you guys that I couldn't pop my popcorn because I didn't have a microwave. So we're gonna try popping the popcorn in a pot. I didn't even know people popped popcorn in a pot. If you look at the picture, this little girl is beside a microwave. Clearly, do we want the caramel or do we want the regular? Since our first time, we'll just do the regular. I actually bought this for a kid's craft and it turns out I didn't actually need it. So that kind of made me a little bit upset, but it's okay. Oh, by the way, this just says popcorn. Clearly you would pop this in a microwave. Cutting this up and popping it in like a pan just kind of reminds me of the people who eat Kit Kats like all at once for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna put some oil in it first. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if this is all going to fit in my little pot and I'm a little bit scared it might overflow, but for the content, we're gonna put it all in because I ain't no little, yeah. Pretty much got it mostly. <clears throat> okay, here goes nothing. Do I hold this? Do I shake it? I'm bored. Will the pops like blow my lid off is what I'm scared about. Oh, you can't even see it now. It's all fogged up. Okay, for the content. I'm scared. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's happening. Oh my God. I need to cover that. Oh my gosh, this is magical. Okay, yeah, it's falling on the ground. It's it's like flying everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's just, it keeps going. Wow, today's harvest is bountiful. It stopped popping. Guys, when do I know it's done? Okay, the reveal. Ready, guys? My lordy lord, that looks amazing. Thanks guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that was like an experience. Oh. Dang, it tastes blander than I thought. It's definitely not as buttery. Yeah, this is pretty bland. Okay, here's the agenda. I'm gonna make breakfast quickly. I'm gonna sit down and have a talk about my life. Some updates. You may have noticed there is a table in the back and the setup went pretty poorly, but it's still there. Oh, it's so light. I'm a little bit concerned. Like, what if it's ugly? Whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like I'ma need a screwdriver. I don't have a screwdriver. This might be an issue. 
Wow, this looks not that pretty. I thought it was gonna be prettier. This wood actually matches with my floor pretty well. Frick, there's so much fluff everywhere. Okay, so I have four tape. Oh, I have they gave me a screwdriver. I can do this. Oh! I got you. I got you. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Thank gosh I'm a ninja, bro. Holy. Okay, screw it in like this. I actually have a funny story from work today. So I was like giving back a kid's homework and I straight up ripped their workbook cover page completely off while I was handing it to them. I was like, here you go. Okay, for example, pretend this is their, their textbook, workbook, okay? I like somehow took the front page and I like held it by the front page and since the rest of it was so heavy, that I just like ripped straight off. And then I was like, oh, I felt so bad. And he looked so unimpressed. And the whole class was just like hysterically laughing. But I actually felt so bad. Cause like, if that was my workbook or textbook, I would have been like, <sighs> but um, you know what? We taped it together, so whatever. But I just thought that that was really funny and kind of traumatic. Whoopsies. Let's just quickly finish this. Okay, this is like totally not gonna work. How is that gonna work? Well, I just don't replay that. We have made an executive decision not to put this underboard on it, but it would look like this if it had the underboard. I'm just not capable of doing that. You know, just let me be. It's actually quite a nice table. It's, it's pretty nice. I actually can't wait to use this. I mean, it's not super sturdy. Yeah, it was pretty cheap, 30, 40,000 won. Okay, well, it's time to clean this up now. And because I have editing magic and software, we're gonna clean it up like Whoa, we're back to the present, how cool. So I was actually going to get a little couch, but that hasn't arrived yet. I have made an executive decision to move those bookshelves to over here, and then I will have the couch right there. Oh shoot, my mom's calling me, I'm sorry mom. Hi mom. Mom, what happened? <laughs> Mm, my week was so stressful because I had to do report cards. Oh, do student report card. Mm hmm It's just hard because there's a lot of students and like like some students like they don't really talk that much, they don't really do much. So then like it's really hard to write report cards for those students. <laughs> Okay. Well, if I go back to school, I'm going to do my own for like the next year. You have to pay for your money. You have to pay for your money. I have a mortgage. I have to pay for your money. Well, I said, if you have a master's Thanks, Mom. I'm gonna. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay, so I put on some makeup and nicer clothes just in hopes that it would lift my spirits up a little bit because I've had two really hard conversations kind of with my mom and my realtor. Um, there's a lot of tea to spill. 
Guys, this is my funky cat mug from my last video. If you don't know how I got it, check the last video. Whew, where do I even begin? So I know a lot of people have been wanting to know how I got into teaching in South Korea and I'm definitely going to be putting that video up so subscribe for that. I know I've been saying that for like the past two videos but I did really want to um, do my research because I know there's a lot of videos out there that say ah my terrible experience with teaching in South Korea, it's definitely hard. The hours are just really tiring. So every single day I work from 9 to 7 p.m. and it's just so draining, especially because most of those hours are actually teaching hours and kids just drain your energy. It's like, it's like having 12 monkeys in a room with you. <laughs> okay, cut, cut that clip. But like for real, there there is some sort of like energy that you are giving out especially because i'm introverted and i really enjoy time by myself and that's why i'm so glad to like just keep my saturdays free like i could be going out and doing things with friends and that's what i imagined myself to be doing when i first started this journey but more and more i realized that like i just need some time by myself with you guys to kind of recharge so that video is going to come out, but I really wanted to kind of give you a really thought through holistic opinion and approach of teaching in Korea because it is a big decision if you want to come and move here and to just listen to somebody else on the internet sway you into one way or the other is not very good. <laughs> so um, I'm also trying to partner with my agent who actually got me here and see if he can actually answer some questions that you have. So if you have any questions about like what it's like teaching in Korea or like how you can get a visa and come here, just leave a comment down below, like something more specific that I can ask him about because he is the expert. Um, I'm no expert, obviously. I would just give you kind of like what my experience was like, but I do want to give you some solid like, this is how you can get your visa, like this, these are the requirements you need. Stay tuned, thank you. Next, I just wanna say, this past few weeks have just been so crazy for me, just because the YouTube channel has just been blowing up. I mean, I, like I'm still really small, but like you guys are commenting every single day. It has really given me hope on this creator journey again, because I don't know if you know, last year I quit accounting to kind of pursue YouTube for a little bit to see how it would go like full time and it didn't end up picking up. I was at 800 subscribers for like the whole last year and now when I finally kind of decided to start myself on a new path down this teaching and education route, I thought I would come to South Korea and be a teacher. Now. My path is even more unclear because you guys actually like this content and I really want to pour my heart and soul out into making these videos, but it's really hard to balance like work and videos and just me time and friend time and like, and study, it looks like everything. Yeah, I've just been kind of a mess lately. It's been pretty noticeable at work, which is really bad because I don't want to affect my kids in any way. And I notice I've been making a lot of like silly mistakes because my mind has just been elsewhere. Like it's in outer space. Like I have no idea where it is sometimes. Like it's in the cloud somewhere. I'm just like super happy that you guys are in on the ride with me now, um, which is, it's just been insane to me, honestly. So thank you so much for all your support. Just the kind words that you've been giving me for these last couple of weeks. Um, it's just been really crazy to see that you guys want more content and I'm so, so excited to give you more. So yeah, I don't even know what this, this video has turned into. It was supposed to be like answering questions, but then this is kind of just turned into like anxiety for the future type video and we about that sometimes here but i don't want to make those like all my videos i kind of need to go out on a walk in nature to kind of clear my head and i will see you in nature p.s this footage is from like a week ago but yeah i'll see you on my walk see ya Let's go.
골라 어디든 갈 거야 수 바운받아 그저 그랬던 풍경들이 이제 보니까 아름다운 느린 걸음걸이 음식은 그냥 주전부리 여유 있으면 더 충분히 행복해 미소가 지어져 오늘은 한 편의 동화를 썼음 해 풍선을 타고 난 나라 올라 This is why I need to come out in nature more. <gasps> My mind's been feeling a little cluttered lately. I come from a small town in Canada. It's literally nicknamed Cowtown. <laughs> and I used to complain that I would get bored easily and there was nothing to do. And moving to Seoul was like crazy because there was just so many things to see and eat and I just never got bored. But more and more, I'm starting to feel more distracted by the flashing lights and the bustling streets. And I feel like I just need to get myself more time out in nature like this and to journal and to quiet down my brain. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna test this theory more in the summer by probably taking a camping trip trying to cut out the noise of the constant to-do list nagging at the back of my head and just letting myself be present and intentional. I'm still obviously so grateful and happy that I've gotten this opportunity to do this. If you made it this far, thank you so much for your support. I'm super excited to be putting out more videos for you guys. I have a lot of upcoming content, so stay subscribed. I wanna vlog more of Seoul and the city. I also am doing a personal color analysis next week, so stay tuned for that. I'm super excited for that. And yeah, I will see you guys. Cheers!